On the 1st of October 1960, Nigeria gained independence from Great Britain. 59 years down the line, we hear from citizens on the assessment of the most populous black nation on earth. I'm Michael Onjel, reporting for Yans TV. What we are passing through in Nigeria now is worse than when we are not independent at all. We is better Oibo come and colonize us than the one chance that we enter now. But we still have good hope since there is God. But for the government and the economy and whatsoever, everything is zero except God intervene. And for God to intervene, Nigeria need to repent and know the truth. For Bible says it is when you know the truth, the truth will set you free. The only thing I know we are celebrating is that as I'm a living being now, and I'm healthy maybe, there's a little piece in Abuja, but I don't know what is happening in Medogri, whether they are also a part of this country. Because so many of them are celebrating independence, even in their in cave now. Even cave is better than where they are. They, you understand? Nigeria has nothing to celebrate as far as the issue of celebration of independence is concerned. If you look at the um, definition of celebration, I think to my own understanding, celebrations means to show appreciations or happiness to something. What are we celebrate? Looting or kidnapping or banditry or disrespect to the rule of law? What are we celebrating? Nigeria is the only country in the world that its past is better than the present. In the 60s, it used to be better than the 70s. In the 70s, it used to be better than the 80s. 80s are better than 90s. 90s are better than the, the 21st century. I want to really appreciate Nigeria 59. What we need to do is for us to pray for our leaders because they cannot reach to the masses alone because they have budgets. The, Nigeria is trying, but they have not tried to the extent of for all the Nigerians to feel it well. And, but they should try more. Because you can see that the country, we are still in the same level that they said next level. The level has not gone to next. We are still in one level. Things are difficult. It's not easy to lead the black race. So every Nigeria leader has tried their best. If there is no one that have tried, Nigeria will have collapsed at that, at that uh, administration. So for them to take it, you can say this one performed better off than the other. You know, our strengths are not equal. Nigeria at 59, it's a pity. So many countries are not up to Nigeria. But what they have achieved in the last couple of years, in one decade, two decades, have passed what we are facing in Nigeria as at now. Go to other country of the world, what the what they are producing as youth, you will know that there are a future in them. But here in Nigeria, we have missed it a lot. Nigeria is supposed to have been greater than this. In the whole world, we are the most blessed nation in terms of resources, in terms of anything you want to talk about. But it's a pity the leadership is missing it. I'm disappointed that the country is supposed to be better compared to before. But it seems everything is going backwards instead of forward. Um, in the aspect of leadership, I think by now, at the 59, um, the youth should have been more, they should have been given more chance to participate in terms of leadership. But I think what they do mostly is we only have old people who are leading us and they are leading us backwards instead of forward. And reaching themselves, they are not actually looking out for the youth. It's been great, of course. We have to encourage ourselves, first of all, before we start talking about what has been wrong, what has gone wrong, what has not been done well. And I think we are in a good place, but we are not where we should be. That's what I feel. We are not where we should be. We have a lot of policies on ground. We have very good policies, but they are not implemented in the way that I feel they should be implemented. To be candid with you, I'm seeing backwardness. They have been telling us that we, we, when, when we are small, we are, they have been telling us that we are the leaders of tomorrow, still up to today. They are still saying that. We have not seen any leadership. Honestly, I don't have anything more than that. Backwardness is what we are seeing every day. It is hard to think uh, yesterday was it's better than today. 
but that's the case here. Now, everybody, it's, it seems everybody, they are just, it's, the place is just a, a one confused, one confused, uh, I can't understand. It's just, everywhere you see is confusion.